Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all well. Welcome to my awesome pamper routine and also welcome to my bathroom. So as you can see, I've just added in some bath salts to help me sleep and now I'm gonna go ahead and add in some bubbles. So while my bath is running, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the nail polish on my toes and I'm also going to dry scrub with this exfoliating mitt just because it really helps to get rid of the dead skin before you get into the bath or shower but you really have got to be careful, don't rub too hard and especially if you have sensitive skin like me, this makes your skin super soft. I'm going to quickly run you through a couple of products I used while in the bath. I did a hair mask. This has made my hair feel incredible. It is so hydrated. I also used a scrub just on my knees and my elbows to help out because I want to self tan in a couple of days. And I also, of course, washed my body too. Okay, so now I've tied my hair up in a hair gel. I'm just going to moisturise my body. I'm using this body butter from Soap and Glory. I love this. I have an even bigger tub of this in my cupboard and ready to use for the winter time. I prefer using a body butter this time of year just because it's a bit more moisturising and I love the smell of this. Now, would it be a pamper routine without painting your nails? Of course, I did only do my toenails. I'm going to do my fingernails in a couple of days' time, but this colour is gorgeous. mask again it wouldn't be a pump for a team without one and I'm really into sheet masks at the moment this one is from the body shop and it made my skin feel incredible from this day it is still feeling amazing right now but oh god do you look scary wearing these <laughs> so I think this mask lasted about 15 minutes and while I had that on I literally went through just updated a couple of diaries that I have just with a couple of things I've been up to and of course I then went ahead and read a book. I am also doing book reviews over on my Instagram so make sure you're following me over there if you want to hear my views on the book I'm currently reading. just want to say this book generally is changing my life it is by Noor Hibbert and it is brilliant after every single chapter and um, you get a task that you have to do and it has changed the game I've become so much more positive and I mean who doesn't want to be positive with the year that we have had this year but it is just brilliant again go follow me on Instagram to find out more about it but I will leave the book down below in the description box face masks and like I said this has made my skin feel amazing I literally just rub in the leftover serum from the mask and 
I can't believe how much my skin is glowing. Now I'm also going to run you through what my autumn skincare routine looks like, especially after I have pampered. I'm going to go ahead and apply this serum from Revolution. This has really, really helped, especially with wearing obviously face coverings. My skin has really broken out, um, and this helps to tackle blemishes. And I really, really can say that it has, and it smells incredible. Now, after that, I am going to go ahead and apply an oil. Um, this oil is Superdrug's own brand and it's the vitamin E range. Again, this smells incredible. You don't need a lot of this. Um, I have oily skin, and obviously, there is a massive thing that you shouldn't be applying oils to your skin if you have oily skin, but ignore that. Again, this has helped. This has helped my skin feel super, super smooth. And of course, after I have applied my oil, I go ahead and apply a moisturizer. This goes along again with the face mask I just used. It is from the Boy Shop and it's a vitamin E face cream. Now, when it gets to the couple of months, I tend to get a bit more heavier with my creams, and this is a brilliant option. And after I have obviously rubbed that all in, don't forget your neck, I then have gone ahead and applied a eye cream. This eye cream is from Nivea. And again, this is brilliant. I mean, I'm not a massive fan of eye creams, but if it's gonna help me not get um, puffy eyes, then I'll go for it. Now that I've done my skincare, I'm just going to go on with my hair from the hair towel, brush it through, and I'm simply gonna let it um, just naturally dry. I'm gonna tie it up just because, of course, after this I will be going to bed. I wanted to leave my hair to naturally dry tonight, especially after that mask. Look how shiny it looks. Honestly, sitting here right now, it feels so, so good. Now, I was usually a tangle teaser girl, but since having got this uh, Great Dance brush during lockdown, I haven't looked back. This has made my hair, I think it's actually made it grow really, really well. Um, it doesn't pull on your hair when you brush it. It really, really helps get them tangles out. And even people that have used it they've said wow what is this so again i would highly highly recommend it i will link it in the description box below in my pamper routine it is time to get ready for bed so I've literally just turned my bed lights out and I'm gonna just before I go to bed I like to moisturize my feet my hands and my lips and I'm showing you the products that I used to do this the end of my autumn pamper routine i hope you guys enjoyed please make sure you subscribe hit the like button and comment below if you like and i will see you all in my next video bye guys